Hello everybody, it's Yasmin Boland here and welcome to today's daily message whether you're watching on Facebook or Instagram or you're listening on SoundCloud or iTunes. Actually this goes out all over the place now, my team have set it up. So clever of them. So how is everybody today? Let me just see if I can see anyone hopping on. Yes, yes, yes. Hello Anna. Hello, Kevin says I'm cute. All these men on Instagram are always sending me messages. What do they think? Like I'm married and very happily married. <laughs> but no offense, Kevin. You're cute too, from what I can see of your tiny photo. Um, so, okay. I have something really exciting going on behind the scenes that I absolutely can't talk about yet. But it's a really, really exciting exciting opportunity that may or may not come up and uh, so what I want to do is I want to surrender it to the divine and now why do I want to do that because when you surrender something to the divine it kind of plays out for your highest good and what more can you ask than that so I was thinking, maybe we can do that together. I mean, I would love your help if we were all going to surrender it to the divine. And, uh, and then I'll let you know what transpires, if anything. So just before I explain to you how we would do that, I just want to say, talk about the point of surrendering something to the divine, okay? And for those of you who are here for a daily card, I will do the daily cards. So, why do we surrender things to the divine? Because, you know, people might say, well, you're always talking about manifestation and conscious creation and the law of attraction. So surely if you're, you know, creating something, then why do you then surrender it? But for me, and I've been... I hate to say it, but I've had about 20 years experience in this, okay, and I kind of know how it works now because I literally have been testing this pretty much every single day of my entire life for the past probably 20 years, I would say. I had to think what year it was for a minute there. <laughs> Lockdown brain. Um, and it works. But it works better if you create from the heart and you surrender to the divine. So creating from the heart means creating things with love. Okay, so just say, for example, you want to, I don't know, a new job. Okay, there's going to be plenty of people after this uh, whole pandemic thing starts to stop. <laughs> Not sure exactly how that's going to be. And I'll be worried about that later. But as the pandemic thing starts to stop, you know, there are going to be people who've lost their jobs as a result of what's happening because you know they might be working for businesses that have closed down for example and those people are going to need all our help so if you know anyone like that you support them if you can contribute to charity you contribute to charity please i'm i'm doing it i hope other people will do it too but it's also a chance to recreate your life okay so on the one hand, you do what we're all going to do in a couple of days' time, hopefully, which is get on and do the new moon ceremony that I'll be doing on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and everywhere. <laughs> we'll do a new moon ceremony together and we will do our new moon wishes together. Okay, And that's on, I think it's the 23rd of May and I think today is the 20th, but I can't be sure. Anyway, it's later this week. And... Then, two weeks later, what we will do is we will surrender it all to the divine. Now, some of it will have worked out and some of it won't have. This particular thing I'm talking about for me, I will probably know before the... I might even know before the new moon, but I'll definitely know before the full moon if it's panning out or not. So, it's never the wrong time to, to make wishes and it's never the wrong time to surrender. The new moon wishes are particularly good just after the new moon. And surrender is particularly good at the full moon. But surrender especially you can do anytime. So what I'm going to ask you to do is we're going to do two things. First of all, I'm going to be really, really selfish or whatever the word is, self-focused. And I'm going to ask you, will you please chant with me three times 
to surrender this thing of mine to the divine so that it plays out for my highest good, your highest good, everybody's highest good. That's basically what happens when you're surrendering. It's like, let it be whatever's for the highest good. So um, there are lots of ways you can do it, but I like to use the Sanskrit chant that I'm always talking about. Om Namo Narayani. Okay? Om Namo Narayani. So it's Om, O-M, or A-U-M, Namo, N-A-M-O, Namo, Narayani, which is the name of the triple goddess made up of Saraswati, Lakshmi, and Durga. All right, so can we surrender my thing to the divine together? I'm going to chant it. If you want to, you can chant it with me silently or out loud, or you can just listen, but think we sur I surrender this to the divine. We surrender this to the divine, okay? So we're going to do that, and then we're going to do you, okay? So here we go. Om Namo So now, in my heart and in my mind, I've surrendered that. I've surrendered that to the divine. And if it happens or it doesn't happen, it's in the hands of the divine. And I'm good with that. Okay? So now, what about you? Do you have a dream that you want to surrender to the divine? Okay? It's actually a really good time to do it now because we are just at the very end of the waning cycle just before the new moon when we're going to start to come up with all new plans and dreams and you know actions we're going to take now is a great time to surrender so who is up for a bit of surrender give me a like or a heart or a comment you can surrender your health you can surrender your job you can surrender a particular situation doesn't matter you can surrender a fear you can surrender a relationship. You can surrender anything. Okay, I'm getting lots of likes and hearts. Everyone's in. All right, so we're going to do exactly the same thing, but this time, instead of thinking about my thing, think about your thing. Okay? All right, here we go. Lots of people are in. That's great. Let me see the comments. Okay, fantastic. All right, here we go. I'm going to do it again three times. Om Namo Narayani, three times, silently or out loud, or just listen. Oh, om namo Narayani. Oh, om namo a dog's dinner as they say so there you go now um, I personally think the reason why this amazing opportunity has come up for me is because I've been doing this chanting every day for I don't know 50 days now or something like that and I do believe that when you start to do things like chant every day or you do a spiritual practice it changes your life and uh, actually one of the things I spoke to Hay House about last week was doing some courses with chanting every day for a month so we go around the whole of one month one moon cycle around 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 the earth all right so there we go that is that is that for the day now let's do a card actually you know which cards i'm going to do today i haven't done them for a few days 
hopefully I'm not going to get the rest and repair card again that I get every time I do these cards. Um, I'm going to do the Alana Fairchild Crystal Mandala Oracle because guess who I'm interviewing today in about 20 minutes from now? Alana Fairchild. So I will play that out as um, my 11.11 message uh, at some point in the next week on a day that works for everybody. All right, so if you've got a question, oh, if you've got a question, ask it now because a card has jumped out of the deck asking for attention. Say your, either write your question in the comments or say it out loud or write it down on a piece of paper next to you, but just get really clear on what your question is. Okay, it's really important. Personally, I'm going for life guidance today. All right, are you ready? Wow, okay. So, it's actually one of my main three goddesses, Goddess Sarasvati. The crystal is ammonite, which looks like a fossil actually, I'm sure it's in the book. And the um, title of the card is From Word to World, which I think might be kind of like your word is your wand, you know, speak and it becomes real, like abracadabra, which means with my words I create. So let's have a look at the meaning for the card, card number 40. Still getting to know these cards. I still haven't pulled all of them. But then yesterday I pulled a card from the Goddess Guidance cards. And I've been using those for, I guess, 10 years. And I, I'd never had that um, card before. So that was a bit strange. All right, here we go. Are you ready for the answer to your question? Okay. We bring you the empowerment of word to world. What you speak of with intention shall manifest. We know that. You are blessed with the creative power of an open and activated throat chakra. Yeah. As you release subconscious fear of speaking your truth, memories of being silenced, and claim your true divine voice, your ability to change your world through your intention is amplified. And you know what? This is also to do with chanting, because with our chanting, it comes from the throat chakra. You have the power of divine creation through sound in you. Ha ha ha. How about that? Talking about chanting and mantras. What you wish to create and experience, speak of with joy. There you go. Well, it's a message for all of us. And I'm loving it. So uh, I'm going to say this thing that I'm hoping will come off will be amazing. Not just for me, I hope for everybody. And I'm speaking of it with joy, but I can't say anything until, uh, until it's all agreed. It wouldn't be right, but I'll speak of it with joy to my husband. All right. I'm sending you so much love. I love working with you guys. You are amazing. And uh, I'm going to go and interview Alana Fairchild in about 20 minutes. So I'll read the comments you've given and then I'll go and interview Alana and I'll see you back here same time tomorrow.